My journey has been one filled with question after endless question. Where am I from? Why am I here? Where am I going? As I began to ponder these things, I felt myself floating away like driftwood on the sea. And I found myself here. Palamecia. A disembodied voice told me that this was a land yearning for hope. Echo? Come on, this isn't funny. Echo, where are you? <laughs> Unlike you to get shaken up so easily. <laughs> Let me guess. Your little fairy friend has abandoned you, hasn't she? I wouldn't call her a friend. So much as a constant thorn in my side. Then her deceptions have not blinded you. Many blanks have lost their way to spirits like her. But you, you have a special fire in your eyes. <sighs> your opinion sure swings the way the wind blows. <laughs> I thought you had given up on me. I may have said that. I called out for a warrior of light, but no one said that it had to be you in particular. I did not see in you the luster of one who can save the world. And that is why I am here, to guide you, to help you shine as brightly as you can, so that there can be no doubt that you are the warrior of light. How kind-hearted of you. Remember what I told you when we first met? You may call me Vox. I will be your guide in this place, and I do hope a most dear companion. Man, what a bonehead! Are you talking about me? No, Vox! Although, you can be boneheaded sometimes, too. Thanks for that. Where were you, anyway? Uh, what do you mean? I was right here. Huh. I thought that you had vanished. Maybe it's because you were quiet for once. Yeah, yeah, I talk too much. Admit it, though. You missed me, didn't you? Tell me something you haven't said. Do you not wish to regain that lost light of yours? I guess it could help. Then kneel down before me, my blank with grand aspirations, and ask humbly, Master Vox grant me power. You want him to beg? I wouldn't mind. Begging is easy. And who knows, maybe this newfound power will let me punch you in the mouth. <laughs> I do like you. You're cynical, yet honest. A straight shooter who refuses to put on airs for others. Thanks. But 
Remember what happened in that ill-fated battle against Chaos. He is not a weak adversary, whom you have a prayer of defeating in a fair fight. You must change your ways, if you want to live. You must accept contradictions, oppositions, and inconsistencies. Palamecia is not a land where the complacent can thrive. Light and dark, truth and lies, the two sides of the same coin. So, now you're offering to teach me things directly, are you? No, you'll just guide me to countless trials to prove myself. That is the law here. Favors are only granted to those who are willing to fight. That's simple enough. But remember, the contradiction's intrinsic to Palamecia. Fire and water, wind and earth, you must master these oppositions in all the forms in which they manifest. Though you may think it to be unlikely, these very disharmonies will bring change to this simple world. Sounds more like you. This is one of the truths you must accept, if you wish to save this fragile world. Make it part of you, and endeavor to master both sides of the coin. Those who do not but deplore their plight deserve their condition. To enforce change one must act. Those who do not act are wholly unworthy.
Smart for a bonehead. Those who do not but deplore their plight deserve their condition. I kinda agree with him. And you? He's right that complaining doesn't achieve anything. If you want things to change, then you must act. But if you can only act when someone tells you to, you're asking to be used rather than appreciated. You really are a cynic, you know. Better than not thinking at all. But don't you think the Warrior of Light needs to be a bit more... pure of heart? The Blanks who died fighting Chaos were pure of heart too, you know. There were so many of us when I came to, on Palamecian shores. How many of us are alive today? They might be alive, but most of them are lost, I think. They gave up trying to become the Warrior of Light. I can give up, too. Huh. No, you won't! Your name is special, remember? And I chose you! But of the thousands of blanks, why did you decide to choose me? Good question. There are still a lot of other blanks with your name out there, you know. 
That's right. So why me? Why not pick someone else? I mean, it used to bother me that there were so many others with my name, but not anymore. It just seemed right at the time, you know? Don't worry, I'm positive that you'll become the Warrior of Light. Eventually. Eventually, huh? My name isn't the only one present in a prophecy, is it? There are other prophecies that say someone else will become the Warrior of Light, aren't there? The prophecy's always in flux, yes. But the truth is what you believe in, not what someone else says. What a prophecy. My power 
unleashed. Your fairy companion. I cannot see nor hear her, yet... I cannot help but wonder, how are the two of you getting along in your travels? How do you know about her if you aren't aware of her presence? I hear your voices. Some accepting her words, others rejecting them. I presume that she does not think highly of a formless voice such as myself. No, she respects you more than anything in the world. What? Do you mean that as a joke? I am even more powerless than those spirits who are able to exert some influence over the world. I suspect they look down on me. It may be best that I cannot hear them, though I dearly wish I could. Who's joking now? Hmm. It saddens me that you don't believe me. Ethereal forces come to my aid. My power unleashed! There is no time for you to rest. Your trials are only halfway complete. You must persevere if you wish to regain the light that you recently lost. That is your duty as one aiming to be the warrior of light. My duty? 
I get to choose what my duty is. <laughs> Not something a warrior of light would say, don't you think? Do you not remember those blanks who gave their lives in the most recent battle? They all sacrificed themselves for a cause that they dearly believed in. They gave something irreplaceable, their lives, to protect Princess Sarah. And you've taken her, the object of such adulation, from her castle on a dangerous road, away from her protectors, putting her life at risk. I didn't take Sarah. She came of her own volition, not at my urging. I will not mince words. No one will believe you. No one will believe that a chaste and virtuous figure such as she would come with you and ignore her responsibilities as royalty to her devoted people. And, of course, if anything were to happen to their precious princess, they will despise you even more than they despise chaos. Trust me, I won't let that happen. Then, I cannot but wish you the best of luck. Though I do not envy your position, I must admit that I do envy who you are. After all, Princess Sarah chose you above all the other blanks. A secret love. A bond shared between a doting princess and her faithful knight. A fairy tale come true, is it not? don't care. Deep within your heart, do you truly not? Sarah would be so disappointed if she heard those words.
deep men can nail that. One notch for every self Go back to the land for once you can. Praise be to the princess. Sarah pines for the day when she can finally walk by your side and see the rest of the world. Whatever. Tell me something now that Sarah's away. Would chaos come after her? The prophecy says that the warrior of light will protect the princess from harm. If it's a foregone conclusion, then what possible reason could there be for me to train so hard? The Warrior of Light will protect her, as per the prophecy. But I don't remember you having become the Warrior of Light. The line between confidence and vanity is not a thin one, my young friend. Listen to him. He's just trying to confuse you. When both of us know that's supposed to be my job. Then I suppose Garland was right after all. Most of what Vox bothers to say is of use, the rest is deception and false tales. Oh, deception and false tales, you say? You're still here? I must admit, Garland is an amusing creature. He enjoys spinning tall tales, but I must ask, how much of what he says do you think is of use?
actions. I have something I'd like to ask you. Your way here has been rife with peril. Are you sure you walk the right path? Do you mean the way I live? Or are you going to hand me a map of this place so I don't get lost? Both, I suppose. Your journey is not anywhere close to over. Perhaps you need a guide, don't you think? Maybe. Once these trials are over, Princess Sarah will come join you on your journey. What if you became lost then, and must make camp in a most hostile land? Will you make a princess accustomed to feather beds sleep on the dirt? Yes, you need a guide. But... I doubt that any ruffian you find on the street would suffice. If you are to follow the prophecy, then you need someone versed in the prophecy. Now, where would such a creature be? Who knows? No? Are you afraid to lose our hypothetical guide friend? Just like you lost that misbegotten Moogle? Listen to him! He's taunting you! <sighs> come, come. You didn't truly care for that Moogle, did you? You didn't act like you did, yet it upsets you. Are you so arrogant that you still think of him as your friend? <sighs> my apologies. Perhaps I have overstepped my bounds. No, Vox, you're right. Mog was not my friend. What? If someone's your friend, you're supposed to be there for them through thick and thin. I wasn't there when Mog needed me, and I didn't realize exactly what I had lost until he was gone. I don't deserve to be called his friend, and that's all I have to say. So very much like you. To paint yourself the villain in your story. 